I'm Karen Michelle, President of ICT and President and CEO of Indig Public Media. I am a member of the Ho-Chunk Nation of Wisconsin, and I am standing here on my native Ho-Chunk land. When I joined the staff of ICT in January of 2020, I said it was like coming home. Let me tell you what I meant by that. I've spent most of my career as a journalist, working my way up from reporter to a top editor and then to a publisher. I've worked mostly for mainstream publications and some large corporations where I worked with some really great people. In each of my roles, I always tried to promote better news coverage of communities that are underserved and underrepresented in the media. When I pitched story ideas about Native people as a reporter, it was tough to hear responses like, that sounds like a good story, but you just did a story on Native Americans a few months ago. So when I became an editor and made choices about news coverage, I pushed for more stories about diversity in our communities. But for me, it was never enough. That is, until I started working for ICT. We are a nonprofit news organization covering the indigenous world through a daily digital platform and a weekday newscast with international viewership. We deliver news, entertainment, and opinion online and through public television in the US, Canada, and Australia. We matter because we tell stories rarely covered by mainstream media, written and produced by indigenous journalists for an indigenous audience. We have three priorities over the next three years, broadcast excellence, compelling storytelling, and the next generation. For broadcast, we want to invest in the quality of our programming to match the highest standards. We want to tell you more stories that you've never heard before. We want to mentor and hire more Indigenous journalists. Will you help us by donating to ICT? This year, we are celebrating 40 years as a news organization. ICT has come a long way since it started as the Lakota Times in 1981 by visionary journalist Tim Gallego. At the same time, we are also a three-year-old startup company with a bright future ahead. So what I meant by coming home is the idea of returning to where I belong, serving my people through ICT's original storytelling. And now I want to say to you, welcome home to ICT your place for Indigenous journalism.